Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy, we are down here in one of my favorite places in the game because it's got the poorly hidden chest right behind us. We are here in the basement of the Haunted Barrow. It is indeed the, the Halloween... Um, Harvest Festival and all that going on, the Halloween Fest, and over there at, at, uh, oh, what's the name of it, uh, Wheat Hollow, Winter Wheat, I'll have to, red text, I'll have to throw it across here, the old haunted area over there, too, and it's the Harvest Festival activities and all the Halloween stuff, and that's what we're taking care of right now, of course, we got the poorly hidden chest behind us that I am bound to determine I will one day get that skeleton horse, uh, deed out of. I got it out of it last year and the freaking chest closed on me before I could get the get it out. It was like awesome! There it was and then the chest closed before I could click on the take button. And I am still PO'd about that. Not really. I mean, ever since I've been on the Prozac, we've been doing okay with that kind of stuff. It, I would have been raging and everything else, but not anymore. Anyway, we're working on it, so there you go. I am sitting here at my house, actually, instead of the wife's house. So you probably notice the sound quality is a little bit better. And I am going to jump, just to, just to let y'all know that the Harvest Festival is going on, and we are going to jump back down to Western Gondor and continue on with Book 1, Chapter 7. And find that overlook to get a good view of Ethelon. And we will see you in just a moment, right after I go get my coffee as well. All right, we are back. Let's look at book one, chapter seven here, which is the abandoned refuge. We got to find an overlook west of Calimbel in Bephalus that provides a good view of Ethelon. As I've said once, I think whenever we first got this one, very close to the name, the refuge or the that was up there near... Um, near uh, 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 Thorin's Gate. These Corsair raiders likely landed at the shore west of here in Belfilis. I suspect they have established a foothold in the old ruins on the coast. People say elves once lived there, but that must have been a thousand years or more ago. No elves have come near Calimbel for as long as I have run my shop at any rate. If you are mind to deal with these Corsairs, that would be the place to do it. And while you're at those ruins, if you happen to see old remnants of the elves, bring them back to me. And I will pay you good coin for them. The elves won't be needing them after all. I have not traveled that way since I was a young man, but I remember an overlook with a good view of the ruins. That would be a good place to survey the situation, and you should go there first. Alright, let's see if we can deal with the... Increase our size right quick. There we go. Let's go see if we can go and deal with the Corsairs. We need to find an exit. Oh, it looks like maybe this one will be a good one to go out of. Let's mount up. And let's head on out here. Hope everyone's having a good time. Hope you're enjoying the festivals and all that. Said I am still on medical leave for a short while. I got two more weeks of medical leave. I finished up earlier today my, well, sorry, I had the, I have two doses left today. I finished up the first one this morning. I got one more dose to take this uh, evening at six o'clock. And then I will have taken all of my first round of chemo. Yay! Then, I get a week off for my body to uh, recover and everything, and then I will go and, and uh, a week after that, I get a week off, and then I start the second round of chemo. So, yay. Seven more rounds after this one. Can't complain, though, because between the surgery and that, I should be in total remission at that point. So, I am happy, happy, joy, joy, I have to say. Let's see what we have here. I wonder if we can continue following on down this road. Does it go anywhere? Let's take a look at the map right quick. See where we're... Hmm. 
Could that be the ruins? Over here are the ruins? Let's see, if we pass on past this campsite here, and it keeps moving up, let's see, it's actually looking down this way, so I think maybe this one is the one. We'll have to see. Yeah, it looks like if it was going to be that one, it would be on up that way, so it looks like we're still going in the correct direction. So yeah, I can't complain too much, and in fact, I have been... Only thing I can complain about is the fact that oh, I get so tired. It still makes me tired in the in the evenings. I'm pretty good up until about noon or so, and then I get really tired. Long about two or three, and some days I'm able to hold out and fight through the tiredness, and then some days I just have to collapse about four or five o'clock. Walnut, huh? Walnut branches. Yeah, y'all heard me say before, just like I've got to get my head tracker hooked up. i got to get my head tracker hooked up over there in, in, um, the, the truck sim. I've got to get around to, to working on my, got to get around to working on my, my crafting again in this game. So we can work our way up to, to ear lung. Erlingus, Scarn, and Walnut Branches. I am so far behind. We'll see how we're coming along here. But yeah, that time off that I've had. Um, coming to an end. Thankfully, I am actually kind of glad to, to be getting back to work. Or I'm looking forward to seeing the people I work with again. Let's put it that way. Can't say I'm, I'm definitely happy to be going back to work. But it would be nice to see the folks. Um, I've missed, missed my work friends and stuff like that. It would be nice to see them again. But I have been able to work on some stuff I've been working on. Um, getting caught up on GTA 4. Y'all remember the big hard drive crash I had back in 2017. It has been a long time now, hasn't it? 2017 I had a big hard drive crash and that has oh, marsh turtles okay I have recovered you know I recovered from the hard drive crash but I got to working on trying to catch back up I lost you know I was doing the Hmm, all right, there's Corsair. Corsair banners there, so I think that must be the ruins. Let's see if we can find the overlook. It must have been the... War dogs, cliff, cliff goats. It must have been the one that I saw, the, the road that was leading up that way, perhaps. Since it looks like we'll probably have to actually do that. Did the cliff, no, cliff Stalker didn't come after us? Guess we didn't get within range of them. I wanted to say there was a, a path up there above us. Where are we at? We're way up there. We are heading in the correct direction, aren't we? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we're in Bephalus. This is the one we're after. So that's where we are. I wonder why it's not... Hmm. I wonder where this overlook is that we were supposed to be standing at and taking a look over this thing. Let's keep going this way. Find the overlook west of Calamon in Bephalus. Well, we're west of them. We're in Bephalus. This is the Havens of Bephalus. So where is the overlook that we're supposed to be? Oh, way over there, is it? Oh, we haven't even gotten near. Let's head down back down here to the road. This is some other outpost. This may be perhaps the outpost that we're supposed to be after. It could be that, but uh, it's definitely not the, the uh, overlook. Overlook looks like it's on the other side of it, perhaps. I think we will definitely outrun this cliffhound here. Yep, we've already lost him. 
Let's get back on the road and continue on. But it has given me time to actually get um, interested again in... Oh, look at the fires burning. Look at the beacons burning on the hill up there. It has given me to having the, the medical leave has given me time to, uh, whoop, Corsair, to get back into the GTA 4. And I was able over several nights, as I said, the, the chemo that I'm doing, it, I get really tired in the evening. And then, as you see, also get kind of scattered in the, the stuff I'm talking about. But on top of that, um, so I go to bed real early, and then I end up, is there a stable? Yeah, Tadrant. We'll do Tadrant here, and let's grab this Stable Master. I get tired real early. Gondor needs your aid. About half the time, I go to bed at about... Where does this go? Find your location. It'll be returned to Morlad. And we've already got Morlad. So Morlad is the one. Apparently it doesn't let you... doesn't let you bind any closer. Morlad is the closest one that it actually... Any of these... Any of these milestones. Uh, lock you in here to Morlad. Oh. Let's talk about Tadrant. While we're at it. You have discovered Tadrant. Alright. We're not going to do the big city-wide sweep thing. Because I'm trying to do stuff while I am. Uh, beacons. Paths of the Dead. Uh, Paths of the Dead. No. Prosperity. More lad. There we go. You have discovered the Gondorian town of Tadrant, located near Nindath. I told you it wasn't worth, wasn't worth doing a full um, travel log entry on. Plus, we're trying to get this done here right quick, so I can get to whenever. As I keep interrupting myself, I go to bed around seven, and it means I'm awake by about one thirty or two in the morning. So I've been able to hop on GTA 4 and get caught up to where I left off back in 2017. I've been able to hop on to um, GTA Vice City and get caught up to where I left it off back in 2018. And I'm able to do some... Look there, isn't that an interesting thing? Corsair Pillagers. Corsair Pillager Leaders. And I'm able to get caught back up here and do editing. This will probably be edited around 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning whenever I'm awake again. So I'm going to have to go save it to OneDrive so I can work on it over at the wife's house. Because I won't be working on it here. I'll be over there sleeping tonight with a little... With the Lord Juliet curled up at my side. It looks like perhaps the overlook is up this way. Yep, there's the elf. There's the the uh, elf ruins there. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Thank God they don't seem to... Uh, 12,500. Well, maybe they looked at me and went, Nah, let's not mess with him. Well, they didn't get close enough to actually decide that they were going to attack us or anything. Now, is this the place where we can... An elf stands atop the Overlook, surveying the refuge at the law. Let's see how he pronounces it. You know, you could give me a hand with this, you know. It would be quite nice. It would be appreciated. No? Not gonna do it? Okay, just let me beat it up. That's cool. I'll do it. That's another reason I want to work on... Want to work on, uh... Doing the... Doing the, uh... Oktoberfest stuff, the Halloween fest stuff and all that, is to get my level up. Some of these things are turning green on me! 
That's no fair. All right, Lathlorn. If you are a friend, you are welcome to share my watch. Okay. Mm if you are a friend, you are welcome to share my watch. I would be pleased to have your company, for men of Umbar have brought their ships to shore and threatened Ethelon. My people have not inhabited the refuge for a thousand years, but we bear enough affection for places once dear that we cannot allow the raiders to remain. If their goal is plunder, they will be disappointed. The only relics that remain will be of historical value only. Only valuable artifacts or jewels were taken long ago. There are others of my people nearby. If you can defeat some of the raiders throughout Ethelon, I will bring you to them. Return hither with any relics you find, and I will be doubly pleased, for I do have an interest in curiosities from my people's history. So we have to explore the tallest tower, the southern court, the northwest dock, the defeat eight raiders, and bring back six relics. I think we can do that. That'll be a good deal of fun. And that is where we shall call it here. I've got to go out and, and do some more work in my yard. And like I said, I need to upload these two files to, uh, to OneDrive. And so I can get ready to download it and edit it later this evening. So there you go. Like I said, these episodes will be short until I am here on a more permanent basis at my house. Which probably isn't going to happen for a couple of weeks until I go back to work. So there you are. Hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe when you see Narlo again, he'll be about 105. We should easily be 105, but maybe 106. Depends on how many days goes by between this one and whenever I get to record another one. We'll see you then. Thanks for coming along. And bye-bye. <laughs>